This is my DIY soldering hot plate and it is better than most of the other DIY ones. Let me explain why. First of all, it has a large 15 by 15 cm surface area, which is more than enough for most DIY PCB projects. Unlike other projects that use a not so good PTC heater for heating the surface, mine has a better approach. I use a so-called mica heater, which is a much faster heater and it can reach higher temperatures than those PTC heaters. These heaters are based on a silicate mineral called mica. They have excellent insulating properties. So inside these stainless steel jackets, there is a thin mica sheet, which has a thin heating wire wrapped around it, as I illustrate in the clip. Then, this is sandwiched between two mica sheets to insulate the exposed wires, and it is finally wrapped in a stainless steel cover. To drive the heater, I use a simple triode-based circuit. Since the heater operates at mains voltage, I made sure that the components are carefully separated on the PCB. The triac is driven by an optocoupler to fully separate it from the low voltage part of the circuit. The high voltage side of the circuit is covered by a plexi sheet to avoid accidental contact. Furthermore, a glow discharge lamp indicates when the heater is being powered. The device has cooling fans and they are driven by a power transistor. A proper capacitor and flyback diode are added to the circuit to ensure that the fans don't damage the rest of the circuit. These fans kick in at the end of the reflow process to help cool the solder below its melting point. The circuit is driven by an Arduino Nano and it has a colorful display that shows all the necessary information. There is a pre-programmed reflow curve in the system which can be freely tailored based on the solder paste used. Each solder paste has its own suggested reflow curves that can be found in its datasheet. With the help of the rotor encoder, both the temperature and the time can be changed for each heating stage. The system monitors the plate temperature with a K-type thermocouple and it adjusts the heating according to the programmed heating curve. Or if you want to maintain the plate at a certain target temperature, that is also possible. Additionally, the cooling fans can be run indefinitely to make the hot plate cool down faster. If you want to know more about this gadget, check the corresponding long format video and the articles on my website. More information is in the description of the video.